What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out Black Diamond Guns and Gear. I'm Josh. And I'm Josh. Today we're out here and we're doing some uh, dot torture drills. Now we ain't got the whole setup and we're not using no fancy cameras or nothing like that. We're literally out here just doing some fundamentals. Stuff you need to do on a regular basis that most people probably don't. It's real easy for us to get caught up and shoot a bunch of stuff and shoot a bunch of cool things that you know we get sent and all this kind of stuff like that. But really when it comes down to it, you really need to try to do fundamental type stuff a lot more than what we do. So that's what we're out here doing today. We're not really out here shooting content or anything like that. Josh just said, hey, why don't you let people know what we're doing? And that's what we're doing. And that's what we're doing. We're focusing on sights and triggers, guys. Sights and triggers, the fundamentals. You go out here and you shoot a lot, this will humble you very quickly. Oh, yeah. It has, it's humbled us a lot. This lets us know what we need to focus on. So all of our shooting skills that we do, Dot torture drills, they humble the shit out of you guys. Yeah. So if you don't know what a dot torture drill is, we'll show you right here. So guys, these dot torture drills are designed to really pretty much help you out with pistol fundamentals. You have each additional circle, and each individual circle has a different thing that you do. Like number one says five shots, slow fire. Number two says draw one, shoot five times. So Guys, this actually helps you out with, like I said, fundamental shooting, the stuff that you actually need to focus on. It's cool to go out and put like rounds down range on steel, but guys, this is where it's at. So guys, the next drill that I'm gonna do is six and seven, and it actually says draw two on six and draw two on seven. So I'm gonna put two rounds in six and two rounds in seven. Let's go shoot it. I'm about five yards back right now, so not very far, but far enough for distance. So guys, you can see, five yards. I did pretty good. You got two here, two here. It's not bad. We could tighten it up though. Guys, there's a reason why we use still targets when we're out doing, you know, YouTube videos and you know videos for you guys to watch. It's because it gives you something that you can hear if we're, you know, we're hitting and stuff like that, which is the reason why we like to shoot it. Obviously, you get an audio response from it. It, it, it gives you more confidence and stuff like that when you can hit still. But the thing about like what Josh was saying, this humbles you. We are not trainers. We're not pretending to be trainers. We're just out here trying to show you stuff that we're doing and. Uh, we hope that you go out and try it. Now you can look up dot torture drills on Google. You can download them, print them off. It's real easy. Uh, you can actually go on T-Rex Arms. We've actually got a couple off of there as well. And they're like big circle, little circle, you know, shoot five times at five yards, that kind of thing. All right guys, so this right here is the one we got from T-Rex Arms. This thing basically says five yards, five shots per circle at your own pace. To guarantee uh, hits, bigger circle means shoot faster. So basically you're gonna take your time at your own pace, shoot five shots, five shots, five shots on all of them. Circles, you know, smaller ones. Really, really take your time so you make sure you get in these circles. The bigger ones, you make sure, you know, faster you shoot, I guess. So we're gonna do it out. We're gonna do about five yards. I don't know how many I have in here. I'll have to do a reload in between sometime. <clears throat> Should be able to shoot it a little bit faster. A bit low on that one. We're gonna go for the small ones now and take our time, make sure we go hit. I don't know how many's in here. I haven't counted it. So, I'm just gonna top my gun off, do what you're supposed to do, put your reload in, rack your slide so you know how many's in your gun, then you know that you're topped off. Don't worry about that little range scrap that just goes on the side. Pick it up later if you want to. So 
So guys, I'm all over it. Uh, wasn't dead on at, at any of them, really. Uh, you can tell with a Glock, I'm kind of shooting a little low. But for the most part, it's right on it. These things are these things are awesome. Go to T-Rex Arms, download these things, print them off yourself. Do the dot torture drills. They really help. We're out here doing dot torture drills today. And the neat thing about dot torture drills is it makes you actually shoot on number eight, weak hand. The difference in weak hand is you can shoot your dominant hand, which is your strong hand. The neat thing about it is it makes you push to your non-dominant hand, which is your weak hand. I just shot this weak hand and cleared it. Now, I'm not the strongest with weak hand, but like I said, I've been practicing and I've actually cleared it, which is amazing to me. Now guys, go out there and do your training and do your practice with your strong hand and your weak hand, which is your non-dominant hand. Practice, practice, practice. So guys, we cannot stress the fact enough that you guys need to go out and practice. Get training. Can't we are we are not trainers. We're not trying to be trainers. We're not trying to tell you how to do what you need to do. We just know how to do our fundamentals because of the courses that we've taken. Uh, you know, reputable courses. We've been to you know tactical response with James Yeager. Uh, we've been to T3 Concepts. We've been to a couple other different ones here in our area. I would like to get with John Lovell. I would even like to go to Carry Trainer. Me and him differ on some press checks and stuff like that, but. I think he's a great trainer and I think he has great ideas and I think he has good training and I would love to go to one of his classes and you know several other people I'd like to go back to tech to response our point is this go get training and practice your fundamentals practice your sights and triggers these are the things that are most important and these are the things that are going to get you out of bad situation if you if you just so happen to be in one completely agree guys stay vigilant stay safe stay alive and practice your fundamentals Practice, practice, practice.